service bell when she wants to go out. 45 minutes. And uh, I had to put the bell away. But because every time she see a squirrel outside, she That's the, the thing. It didn't, they were quite working yeah. like, any time you walk past the door, she just wanted to go out. Right. But it wasn't like when she needed to go. Right. We really wanted it. Although it was in, too, but it was like. No, it was just like, I always, you know. Yeah. I always want to go outside. But yeah. she made that connection. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah, they, they seem to forget that squirrels run up trees, too. Mm -hmm. I always joke around and say that's because the breeds used to daddy shooting it down and it stays down and then you pick it up. In case the squirrel it goes up the tree up and you're tree like, like, where did it go? You didn't shoot it down, daddy. Yeah. What's happening? It's teamwork here. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> right. I'm very <laughs> hesitant. <laughs> and it's always now <laughs> always over near this one. <laughs> Look at Gizmo getting out of her comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, it is. I joke around, it's the TSA approved size. Mm -hmm. Take her on the plane. Okay. You know, when I moved here from Omaha, I had three cats and my dog Sugar. Sugar was, of course, too big to go, but I brought one of my cats on the plane. Yeah. Well, what they didn't tell me was that you're supposed to remove the cat from the carrier before they go through the x ray. So <laughs> TSA is looking at and they're going, What is that in that bag? I'm like, It's the cat. <laughs> Why is she in the bag? Is it a live cat? 